Hey folks, welcome to Concept. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we will understand about intraday trading approaches. So, how can we go ahead and trade intraday options in a much more better way? Is something what we will learn. So, we have already recorded quite a few videos on intraday trading. Today's video would be more of a process wherein we what we will learn actually is instead of uh, understanding any setup, we will understand to a process that we need to go through if I want to trade options intraday. So first things first, we need to start by forming a bias on the market. Okay. Wherein we need to understand what is happening on Nifty, what is happening on Bank Nifty and you know, specifically we need to have an overview about the market. Okay. So we can do it from the home screen of Consar with no navigation on a single screen. We can form a bias on the market. We can be trade ready basically. So over here, we will get to see what's happening on Nifty, what's happening on Bank Nifty. Synopsis will show us top gainers and losers. The option chain data is obviously here. The open interest, the intraday movers and the market breadth is also one of the most important things what I look. So over here, first I look at if there is positive thing happening in Nifty, if the Nifty is positive and if the bank Nifty is positive, is it the long which is backing up the up move or is the up move because of short covering? If the up move is because of short covering, then you know i can consider that the positivity which has played out in nifty that may not be sustainable right so i can keep my trades a little bit small over there i can actually compensate for the position sizing on that day apart from that let's say if uh, everything is good let's say if nifty is going up backed up with long and bank nifty is also going up backed up with long then i'll check market breadth that are majority of the stocks supporting the up move in nifty then I'll check, okay, is the move which is happening in Nifty, is that move secular? So I can check it uh, using index contributor, index contributor sector and index contributor stock, right? So that no individual stock or no individual sector should actually drive the up move in Nifty or bank Nifty, right? So uh, when we do this, the chances of us failing, it actually decreases because we are actually trading that move, which is much more secular and much more backed up by a lot of stocks and sectors. Okay. So this is how we will form a bias. Now, whenever I go ahead and take a trade, one thing I make sure is that I don't buy very close to the resistance and I don't sell very close to the support. What I mean by this is, let's say, so let me just draw and explain you. Okay. So let's say this is where my resistance is. Okay, so let me just clear this and insert. Okay. okay. So it's not working, the zoom thing. Yeah, here it is. So let's imagine that this is where uh, the resistance is. Now, what my idea is that if I want to buy, I will never buy when the instrument is very close to the resistance because by doing that i am actually taking a trade on a negative reward to risk right so my target would be very close but my stop loss would be very far away so when i do something like this if i fail i will fail big and if i win i will win small so if i want to take a bullish trade there would be two places where i will take a bullish trade either if I'm too far away from the resistance, so let's say if the resistance is somewhere over here. Okay. Now, if I take a trade, I know that I have a big room for Nifty to left in the upward, to move in the upward direction, right? So Nifty can actually move up a little bit from here. So this is the sweet spot, or I would say a better opportunity to participate. Or else, if the stock or if Nifty or Bank Nifty surpasses the highest call open interest strike price, if it surpasses the resistance. Okay. So actionable, if I want to buy, either it would be a little bit far away from the resistance or above the resistance. If I want to sell, it would be little bit far away from the support or below the support. Okay. So this is the trade that I will take. Now, what happened today in Nifty only, if you just see, so this is options, open interest data. Let me just open this. So this is GNFC. I don't want GNFC. What I want actually is Nifty. So now if you check on Nifty friend, so today everybody will relate with me that 19,300, see 
Nifty actually started correcting it with a stiff resistance over there. Nifty never, you know, comfortably it never surpassed 19,300 and sustained above. The reason is the highest call open interest, which is standing at 19,300, right? So imagine looking at all the data points, forming a bias, you know, uh, taking a signal or I would say trading a signal and eventually not making big move or not uh, capitalizing on it the way we'd have been. It gets very, very difficult for us, right? So what we will do is we will actually buy if 19,300 is broken and if Nifty sustains above that, that is the time I would have considered buying in Nifty today. That means going bullish on Nifty today. Similarly, if I would have wanted to sell, it would have been somewhere below the support, below 19,200 or else if, even if Nifty comes com somewhere over 19,300 and if I see some sign of corrections, that is the time I will anticipate a fall in Nifty. So that is from the Nifty aspect, that is from, you know, general stock aspect as well. Even if I uh, want to trade a stock, the same thing will be applicable for stock as well. Okay. So what the process is, the process is form a bias. I will not buy very close to the resistance. Neither I will sell very close to the support. If I want to buy, I will buy above resistance or when I'm far away from the resistance. If I want to sell, I will sell below support or far away from the support. That is the first actionable. Second actionable is I use off late option built up a lot. Wherein what this tool does is it actually shows for the selected strike prices. Na? what built up had been witnessed wherein we can select the time frame whether we want to have a look on one minute three minute five minute ten or uh, you know 60 minute data maximum wherein it shows how much the change in the selected prices let's say i'm selecting two strike prices so it's saying of two strike prices the open interest has went down by eight percentage for call side the price for the call option has also also went down by seven percentage put options me the price has went up and the open interest has gone down okay now we will get to see total volume volume uh, put call ratio and open interest put call ratio call buyer exit how it is catching that it is first checking where the open interest changes more so the open interest changes more on the call side so it will automatically prefer giving a reading to the side where the open interest changes more and then obviously it will combine it with the price change price up oi up it will show us long built up price down oi up it will show us short right and then long unwinding and short covering wala concept over here now if, over here if you see it is showing us put writers exit why it is showing us put writers exit because 10 percentage open interest unwinded from the put strikes Whereas from the call strike, there was just 5% open interest unwinding, right? And what happened on the other hand, the put price, it actually went up. Put price goes up, open interest goes down. That means the put options which were sold, those are getting unwinded, right? So that is actually telling you more or less the support of uh, Nifty is getting little bit weaker. Now, how do, will I use it is whenever I'm taking a trade, I will see in the last uh, 15 minutes or half hour, what are the built ups that are happening majority of the times? Is it bullish activity? So what will be bullish activity for me? It would be call buying. It will be call uh, writers exit. It would be put writing, right? These will be the bullish activities for me. If I want to sell, I will see if there is, uh, if I want to be bearish, okay. If I uh, want to be bearish, what I'll see is I'll see if there are a lot of puts getting bought, that means put buying, is there uh, call writing happening or, uh, you know, is there uh, put writers which are getting exited. So this is how I will actually use option built up and I will form a bias on the market. So I will see what has happened actually in last 15, 20 minutes and then accordingly I will gauge the sentiments of the market so yes folks that was it from my side for today thank you so much for joining me up till here